So Creon, obviously a very, very tight defeat to the Royals last week. Um, what were your reactions and thoughts after that game? Um, I think that's been the um, story of our season so far. So close, but um, you know, in the end of the day, everything, whether it's two points or, or um, 30 points, it's a loss. So we want to get a win on the board. That's the most important thing to us. And that's what the focus has been um, all this week. But I was very happy with the performance, considering we had a seven-man rotation. Yeah. Do you think that was, at the end of the day, what made the difference between the win and the loss? Is just a, just a seven-man roster? I think, yeah, the guys played their best, you know, and then maybe a little fatigue at the, towards the end crept in. But, um, you know, um, Royals are quality side. I think uh, they're the last standing undefeated team in, in, in the BBL right now. Um, they were obviously minus um, Andrew Lawrence, but um, Scott's been playing absolutely great for him. And they got a lot of experienced guys. And I think that's, that's what helped get them over the line was those experienced players. And then heading into the Lions this week, obviously they won the All-Stars, but they also picked up their first cup win um, against Plymouth on Wednesday. I mean, um, what do you think about going into a game like this? Do you think it's going to be a, a tight affair? You know, it's always going to be difficult playing against the Lions. I think, like you said, you know, the fact that they managed to win the, the All-Stars, it wasn't really a surprise when you look at, um, you know, if you've got Justin Robinson on your team, who's, you know, been a league MVP, he knows how to win having Brandon Peel there. And then a lot of people forget about that. The background guys who make a big difference. Um, you know, the captain, Joe Equim, has been there for a while, you know, um, long art and stuff. So they, they've got a good culture there. And I think it's just coming together now. So we know it'll be a tough game, but, you know, we, we'll be going there with a, with a loud uh, um, Scorchers um, fan base and um, hopefully that will help us. Great. And just, you mentioned the, the seven-man roster for the Royals games. What's the injury situation looking like this week? Um, it's been a tough week, as as it normally is in Scorchers land, um, having a, th- a slim squad. But um, Kalen's returned to full term practice, so we are hoping to get um, him on the court um, against um, Lions. And then um, Teo, a little bit of a bug going around. So Teo's been down for a couple of days, but we're hoping that he'll be um, um, energized and back up to full speed. Um, other than that, you know, Saul and um, Jeremy are still long term absentees and. Um, you know, we're looking to strengthen where we can and, and um, get cover, but um, there's nobody out there right now that we can get, so we don't want to just um, um, panic sign. 